this mixture of laws and events is typical, of course, of art. That is the reason why I cannot agree with what John Cage has said, by the way, in the sense that the main point is to return to chance. Chance is an essential element of nature, but it's not the only one. Nature is this curious mixture of events, determinism, and laws. I think you'll find that if you look at this, uh, this uh, picture again, you'll see that he made decisions. Yes, but he wants to have a music which would be timeless. For example, when he makes the, the sound separated by silences which are long, that will be, make a music which we have no direction of time, which could, could be played in the same way in one direction as in the other. Another thing that Duchamp taught us, he went asked what he did, he said, I breathe. It's not a question of learning. It's a question of uh, doing, d doing your experience. The main lesson I would take of modern science is that we are not alone. We can communicate. We can really see something completely new appearing. We see Kant was thinking that in a sense we impose our view on nature, that we put nature to question. But recent developments over the last, I would say starting with the old century, have proved the contrary. In a sense, we started with the idea of matter being permanent without structure, and we come to the idea that matter is a fossil which is a remembrance of the beginning of the universe. So that protons are the testimony in a sense of what happens 15 billion years ago. We started with the idea that the universe can have no history. Giordano Bruno said it. How can the universe have history? The universe is everything. It contains all possible histories. And we came to the idea that the universe has a history. There is not a single idea which we accepted, more or less in the 19th century, which is still there today. Now, of course, there is no end to this. There will be no solution of this. And therefore, let's dream. Let's have everybody's own solution. I had always the impression that one of the main purposes of this type of Indian sculpture was to try to reconcile the opposites, to go beyond the contradictions. And here the problem is the contradiction between the eternity and time between the absolute and the relative. As we know, and this is uh, Vishnu who is sleeping, his wife keeps him alive, he's sleeping on the snake which, uh, which separates the world of eternity from the world of activity of, of man. And from his novel, there is Brahma arising, and Brahma is active principle of the world. And the, the, for the world, in a sense, is a realization of the dream of Vishnu. And when Vishnu will, will wake up, then this world will be destroyed, and another world will start, and another realization of the universe will start. So it is, in a sense, like to say that the reality is the dream of the absolute, to call the unknown and perhaps the unknowable. Uh, God or not is finally for me a matter of, of, uh, of secondary importance. What is really important is to feel not alienated in this universe.